What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome to day, what's today? 18 of my um, daily challenge of recording a video every single day. You know what's interesting about me doing these and learning more about myself and whatnot is that I, when I start recording, I don't stop or I don't, um, let me push this real quick. I don't like, yeah, I don't, I don't stop it. I don't re-record it. I just, whatever comes out first, which gives me an opportunity to be a little bit more authentic and kind of learn like from the processes. So just now I uh, started the video and, did, and didn't realize that I didn't push um, the dictator on my laptop. So basically, if you didn't see in my other videos, one of the processes that I do when I record videos is use dictation. And when I use dictation, I use that as a transcript for my videos and then I use that to kind of um, edit my description, my title or whatnot. So yeah, that's a little hack. If you decide to do YouTube videos, another hack is that when you do like schooling or whatnot, when I used to write my 10 page, 20 page papers, which was exhausting, a lot of it or towards the end of my schooling, I came up with the idea of just to dictate. And when you dictate, it just helps get out all your thoughts and it is very easy to make make it better from there because when you do that you it's kind of like your first draft you got out all your thoughts you see where you have gaps in your learning you see where you need to expound more on and you just throw it all up onto the dictator which i use uh word to dictate everything and then from there you can kind of edit and like rearrange things so just a small hack. So the topic of today's video, which honestly, I'm going to skip today because I just started off on this whole rant about dictation and being a little bit more authentic. So maybe I'll talk about that. But I was going to talk about uh, credit cards. But with that being said, that's just me being a little more authentic in the moment because I um, constantly am defining my brand throughout this whole challenge. So Right now, I kind of went through with all of my videos, summed them, all up, summed them all up, which were in day 18, and I'm seeing that a lot of my topics is about self-improvement, um, productivity, uh, real estate, some military stuff here and there. So when I, when having a YouTube vid video, when you have a YouTube channel, you are building your brand or even social media, you're building your brand on who you are and you're circling that and making sure that you're um what's creating a foundation that you're kind of like feeding off of you don't want to talk about uh fashion when you're a finance channel and it's very important for that um when you're building a brand because when people latch onto your brand like when you go viral for something you that's what people know you for and that's where they connect with you on and when you connect with them on that they they expect more um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, that's probably why you like watching my videos, um, whether you know me or not. Appreciate the people who don't know me. Appreciate the people who do know me. Thank y'all for your support. I appreciate that so much. But that's what people want more of. So if I was to get on here and start talking about BMX biking, that would be a, a little bit of a left field and, and it would disconnect you guys from me. So in order to ensure that I'm building my brand, bring being more of myself that's the connection that you're that we're building together um i know i'm not the first youtube tuber that someone has watched and I'm, i don't yeah i'm not going to be the first youtuber that someone watches and builds a connection with that i never met but they feel like they know me that's the same difference um when it comes to uh artists or basketball players or entertainers people build relationship with them because they they are giving a part of themselves to the world. So um, that is kind of my challenge for you if you're watching this. Like, look internally. Like, are you being your authentic self? And when you be your authentic self, you are going to um, attract the people who appreciate you for that. But the more, the more that, or the less that you are of yourself, the more that you decide to be something that you're not, aka talk about BMX biking on a finance channel, people are going to be a little confused and you're not going to be able to connect with them. And then 
if you do connect with somebody on something that you're not very interested in or you don't really care about, you're going to have very superficial friendships. And like I said on this video, this channel all the time, I'm talking to myself. So don't feel like I'm just talking as if I am like the expert on this. I'm not. But that is the journey I'm kind of going through right now is that I am learning that me being more authentic may be uncomfortable now, but I'd rather be uncomfortable now and be in a comfortable space later than to be slightly uncomfortable all the time because your friendships matter. Like if you have a friend, if you have a coworker, if you have a significant other, you, you owe it to yourself to be authentic because when that friend doesn't text you back and that hurts your feelings, let them know. If they don't change, then that's your choice after that. After that, they made their choice. Now you have to make yours. Do you say, all right, this doesn't ma matter as much as I thought it was, or this does matter and I need to make the changes or make the step back? There are so many people in the world, so many people in the world that it you, our chances of finding somebody who relates to us is is more increasing, is more of a probability than you trying to <laughs> change the person who you're constantly trying to change. So, yeah. And I also realized that also, that mirror also faces back to me is that when I have friendships that I connect with and I don't take the moment to um, acknowledge that, I am losing out on friendships like that. So that's when when I have to be in this space of like, all right, this is me. This is how I react. This is um, a flaw of mine. It's important for me to acknowledge that and text that friend back or text that person back and be like, hey, I know that I haven't texted you back in a while, but you know, I just want to let you know that you're, you're appreciated and I am making a conscious effort to do better. Um, and if I'm ever falling short because I made a commitment to this friendship, to this relationship, to this um, whatever have you. I ask that you keep me accountable and then allow them to be, keep you accountable. That is also hard. It's, a, it's all hard, but eventually you'll start getting to a place where you're comfortable. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I know that was kind of quick or I talked really fast and I bunched up a bunch of stuff in. But always remember that you're important. You matter. Um, your personal growth, your productivity, your self-worth, all of that matters. And you should give yourself grace and also give yourself challenges and learn from them. So that's a little financial life reflection. I have a really weird brand that I'm defining, but it's going to be fantastic. So that's another day in the books, day 18. Love you guys. See you guys tomorrow.